Hi folks, welcome back. We're sitting at the uh, front gate to my shop and it's a nice gate. We built it a couple years ago and it's equipped with the best security system that I have ever found. And I'm a licensed security gate installer for Texas and I can put any one I want and this is the best one been doing it for about eight years and that's what I do when I'm not in the shop and my shops used to support that but I have a problem this is the keypad when you uh, pull up to it you punch in your number it takes a picture of you this is the app I don't know if you guys can see it in the dark here I'll go and see an internal camera this is the app, uh, if you can see it here. It takes a picture of who's ever in the, the, the driver's seat. And you can go back and... You can go back and it's got another camera on it. Sorry, it's so hard. It's an external camera. And that's, that's me sitting there. It's taking a picture of us in the license plate anywhere. It's got a strong steel gate. It takes pictures. It sends me a message every time the gate's open. In fact, when you push the button, it logs who, whose code it used. The problem I'm having, heck, I've even got a sensor in that little box over there. That's for the mailman tells me when somebody's left a package or opened the box. problem I'm having is the gate isn't working. No. It's not keeping the Klingons out or Don. Hey. So I, I, I don't know. It's the best stop, system. You need, you need to stop giving me the code then. Well, yeah. <laughs> I need to change <laughs> it on you every day. That'll Badges fix are. you. Badges removed. Ooh. Don has very, very nicely come to the shop to help me with this one. Don, as you can see from picture here, I'll show you a picture of what he did last. Likes to paint. I don't like to paint. I just like the way stuff looks after it's painted. There's a difference. Yeah. I hate to paint. And I'd rather it worked <laughs> and look terrible, but it can work and look good. That's even better. This is the fourth Bridgeport or uh, knee mill like this. It's been through the shop in the last three years, and they're all gone. But this one, this is going to be my personal machine. And Don because I've been working on something of his that says he's going to paint this sucker up for me. So today we're going to take it apart and get it ready for paint. When you buy an email, be careful. This one looked wonderful when you, when you first started looking at it. It's got chromed ways, not a whole bunch of wear. It looked great. And then you start digging into it, like backlash. How about a hundred and eighty degrees of backlash? <laughs> that paper went back and forth a lot. Uh, I mean, it's got a a motor over here that looks really great. 
guess what? It's even worse over here. One. That's, back and forth even that's more. almost 360 degrees. And the guy I bought it from was a machine rebuilder. And he said, all it needs is a nut. <laughs> well, I've been digging into it and it needs a lot more. It needs both screws, X and Y. Yeah. Needs nuts for them. So needs bearings, needs oilers, needs way wipers, and may need a ride on my planer. Well, when you wear out a lead screw as much as this one's wore out, it's so been used. It's been used a lot. Wearing out the nuts, one thing. Wearing out the nut and the lead screw, that's a, that's a whole nother story. But the reason I like Bridgeport is I can buy every single piece yeah. on this machine. Reasonably, too. Reasonably. reasonably. In fact, I use, what is it, H&W? Mm -hmm. It's fast. We got all the parts you need. Don's been in there taking my badges off. I even got a new flag for it, Don. There you go. In fact, I bought a lot of parts. We got all kinds of things. We're going to rebuild the head. I've got nuts. Got some of these new dogs here. These are kind of wore out, so we're going to replace those up in the head. Bearings. Then, I treated myself. Have a new... What's the name of it? Pork right. is a chuck closer air operated gonna be nice you have one I know you did but I didn't show you what's in the other box but your, but your head's better than mine so. and pretty soon about right here DRO. is going to be a four axis LCD DRO I, I took a leap of faith and ordered it from DRO Pros. Yeah, that's probably all right. And we'll see how it works. All the ones in that day pretty much work to some extent. I have never had a DRO on any piece of equipment except one. You're going to get spoiled really and quick. And I didn't, didn't trust it. You're going to get spoiled really quick. Just call me old school. But heck, DROs are 30, 40 years old now, yeah, so old that's even old school. You're old, old school. Baby. Let's get You're to it. Ancient school. I am not ancient school. Older You're dirt. older than older dirt. Than dirt school. You, you're so damn old, you transferred into the earth after God finished making it. And I'm still, you're older than dirt. And I'm still walking on top of dirt. That's well, I am too, luckily. Nearly wasn't. All right, let's get it going. Okay, let's do something. Time's a wasted. What do you want to do now? Take this off. Thought you were going to say go eat lunch. Uh, no. no. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. I've already yet. been to cardiac rehab and they worked my butt off, so. Yeah, well. Let me put this over here out of the way. And I don't know if people can see it or not. Don't know if they want to see it. First thing we're going to do. Take the table off and water, and that might be enough. That's just a little bit greasy. This one's not too bad either. Considered the machines I've been working on, this one's clean. That's why I bought it. Let's take the weight cover off. You know, maybe we don't have, well, have to probably have to take it off. Though. Yeah, we're going to probably take it off. Uh, let's work on getting... Do you have a uh, little bag, baggies that you mark on where all this stuff comes from? That's what I'm, I mean, that works really good if you get the little... That's plastic. cocaine you're talking about, not right. screws. Yeah, it works. baggies, spike powder. And yeah. you can actually uh, label them. I have some, but you're going to have to tell my wife that, that you made me go do it. I understand. I borrowed my wife's wax paper one time and got yelled at so bad. I mean, I thought 
I bought the wax paper. Well, Take obviously it. you're wrong. It wasn't my wax paper. It was her wax paper. Here's, here's the way we're going to go about this, the order of taking it off. We're going to take off the wires for this, and yep. then this handle comes off, this thread locker comes off, this yep. comes off, and then this comes off. Then we go to the other side, take it off, push it right over right. out of the way so yep. we can get into the ball nut. Yep. Or the, it's not got ball nuts on it. Let me go get your, your bags for you, sir. Come on, man. I don't want to lose your part. I know. And I appreciate that. If you got a mark for that, it works even better. Than I have marked lot right there in the front of you. Right here. There you go, sir. Right there. Oh, use the good one. You can. All right. Here's some baggies. I think this is all here. Let me give you these baggies. We had this goes, but the spacers. Okay. We take a picture. We take a picture. How about that? Spacers. Right. Mm -hmm. right there. These are its stops. You move these here down this T channel, and it'll tell you when it hits that button to stop it. Yeah. Here, I'm giving you these baggies. You better not start having flashbacks or there'll be problems. So. And before the white powder phase. <laughs> Here before baggies. I guess we can put these screws in there too. But. Yeah, there's a magic, there's a sharpie on that box over there. All right. Very loosen these up. We got some wrenches. Oh, you're going to be like that, aren't you? Which way does it go, Don? I don't know. Don, this table's too big for me in there. Goes that way, Don. And then the bag will be off with all this table. You gotta get this here loose at some time. I'll take it off and clean it. <laughs> here is key. Now this whole thing comes off because I've already loosened it. Uh, yeah, maybe. Let's see. Yeah, the whole thing comes off. We can take it off, try it. It's already loose for it. I've got the right here. Don, I'm going to sell advertising on your back again. Hey, here you go. Where'd you place the screw? It's right there. I'm going to redo this camera a little bit. How you like my little? Yeah, hold this and I'm gonna fall or what? On that shaft can't fall off. I don't know, wouldn't think so, but you know, it didn't hurt to. You've screwed up other things before in your yeah, life, I like have. I have, huh? I have. Okay. Yeah, that'll let it come all the way off, hopefully. It should. Okay. Let me see. Got a key or something? Got a, got a ring. Compression two little, ring? No, these little brass shims go right there. Yeah. Whoa, you dropped one and it went right there on that cord. Yeah. 
draft holding it. Ah, something else. It's pretty rusty. It is. Crusty. Yeah, it's pretty crusty. Back in the land of rust. Hello, hello. Yeah, that's pretty much it. There's a bearing in here, or a, a bushing that came out of in here. So, okay. Take and uh, take the other end off now, and then we can push it all down. Okay. Let me uh, get that handle off. That's loose. We'll take it off. Clean it up. Easy. Yeah. It's rusted too. Come on. In the nuts. Put it in there somewhere, and that's got to be solid, so you can't just push it out. So I got to screw the nut. Well, we need to we need to rotate. We we need to get it down all the way down there. Well, we've taken. Here's the thing. Once you take off those end holders, you've taken off everything that attaches it, with the exception of the gib, which we can take the gib loose if it's too tight. You grab over there. I'm going to push. You pull. Does it pull on the nut? No, it isn't. The nut. The nut's attached to the saddle. Yeah, we're, and it's still fixed, and the screw's still going through the nut. So how are you going to push it? The screw's going through the nut, but the table's not attached to the screw anymore. I got you. Okay. One, two, three. There yeah. You go. Yeah, it is. It's attached to something. Attached to a nib. All right. How about a long screwdriver or a medium screwdriver, a little screwdriver, just a regular screwdriver up here? You might have tightened that gear because of wear too. It's probably pretty tight. That they could have. And everything else is pretty worn on it. Okay, let's see what we can slide it now. Yeah, there we go. Want to slide it right off, you know? Okay. First off, I'm going to go get me a uh, an apron. Strap underneath it too, or something. And then we're going to rotate this around and get the table underneath it. I don't want to get my limited edition old, old fart shirt. shirt dirty. dirty.
Yeah, hold on up there. I'll reach in there and get the the nut loose. Show them what we're looking at. And there are two screws. The bottom little one holds the top big one in, and that captures the X axis nut. We're going to unscrew those. This won't Screwdriver. Continue, this won't continue to slide up? Uh, it would, but I won't take this. I guess you could take it out now. Wouldn't it be easier to yeah, get it Yeah, you've come up with a brilliant idea, mm, sir. Yeah. I think it would be. It'd be a lot easier to get to the nut. Yeah. Raise your table up a little bit. It looks kind of cattywampus down. And I'm underneath the leaf switch. That may be why you're not really supposed to do it this way. No, it would work. There you go. You can push it. Okay, you're going to have to pick that end up too. Because it's going to bind on the... Here, let me take the gib out completely. Why don't you come on this end? You're better off holding something heavy up than I am. I'll push. You know, let me just go ahead Either and do that, it. Yeah. Let, me, let me do it the way I know how. Either that or I can just lift the table up to grab it. Well, let me just see. Let me see? get this out of here. Flat on the table now. Do it however you want. Well. Push a little bit. Let's see. Just push a little bit. If we do it this way, we don't risk messing up this nut uh, holder. We do it that way. Can you push a little more to get you a little bit of access to them? No. Oh, you got it. Oh, well, I'm, I'm you okay. okay. All right. I'm just wonderful. There we go. A little screw. You take these two screws out that... that whole shaft will come out okay. and won't be in our way and we'll, you know especially if you were going to reuse it yep. I'm not going to reuse it but I am going to okay it's down in the bottom I could crack that housing if we somehow drop that table on it I need four hands and two eyeballs and a flashlight. I've got part of those requirements. There it goes. Got it? It's coming. You know, I went and washed my hands. I know, I was about to say you didn't and put did you gloves on there. Did you notice that I don't have a glove on the right hand? I was going to mention that, but I figured, nah, I'll just let you go. It's already dirty. No point in mentioning it now. Well, for so long, we couldn't get good gloves. That's true. That's a sh... That's, you know, we can't even buy gloves when you need them. That's pretty sad. That'd be a long screw, huh? I was famous for that. Are you taking a picture of the outside? Or are you not filming at all? This one's taking a picture of you holding up the table. Good. That one, I don't know what it's doing. Okay. Put your glove on anyway, because that's a lot of grease there. I'm just mentioning it. Here. Give me a rack. All I need. There you All go. I need is a rack. Ta da! Now I have everything new for this. Got a bag. Put them over there now. I've got them. <coughs> what is that for the nut? This is for the Gibbs screw. And 
I'll probably give you the just, gib. Probably just. Uh, we'll put all the gib stuff together. Yeah. Not too bad. Still got some flaking down there and on this end, kind of rubbed smooth there. Get you all straightened up, buddy. Someday I'll have a shop that you can get around in. Doubt that. Yep. Hey. I just know you. All right, can you lift up a little bit on it? It's going to drop off. There we go. Let's carry this around and put it in the other room. This may need to put this case with us with saddle. Cat's going to be ticked off at you. Cat hmm. has decided that my welding blanket. Nice place to sleep. It's a good place to sleep. All right. Let's, let's slide it on. Let me bring it down a little bit. It's going to hit on this here. Okay. Love those tables. Hey, Don. Oh, Don. Need your help, Don. I want to turn it over and look at the, the ways. Unfortunately, it's a little too heavy for me. Pull it this way first, we'll that and then I can flip pick it, it up. I'll get it oh, up. You want to flip it that way? Oh, yeah. Okay, pull it to us. And don't let your fingers get on. One, two, three. Uh, no flaking left. But I don't see any marks, gouges. Take the paint off and put it up Okay. Some of that primer you like. Yep. Yeah. The syllable primer is better, but that's the work too. Thought that was the high build. No. Same. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Same yeah. stuff you like. I yeah, bought. I bought me twelve or six or seven or eight when you bought yours. Yeah. yeah that, that works too good. I'm 
put that back. You have to measure it to get out. Yeah, that's the only way to tell. At least it doesn't have gouges in it, you know? Scratch it. I'm kind of happy with that. Now it's a big, big risk you take when you buy something. It's true. Guys like me that, you know, it's not such a big risk because I have all the tools to do it. But four years ago, five years ago now, six years ago, Give me one of those big quiet on the set balloons and fly it above my shop. It's pesky damn airplanes. You know, I'm miles from anywhere. I'd like to come over. This sucker's going to get all new oilers. We're going to clean out the pump. Clean out all the lines while we got it off. It's got a, the Bridgeport has a million little tubes. It's got like eight. It's got a lot of them that go right in there. But it's a nice way to do it. If you're going to take it apart, you might as well do it, right? Would you bring me that little yellow flashlight so we can look at this good? Thank you, sir. Y'all want to look? Actually, I'm cheating. I'm using the camera to look at it. I don't see anything bad. Just a little light breaking my camera right back. Well, you know. Got to measure it. Indicator. That's right. Looking bad and looks can be very deceiving. I don't really care so much about gouges. What I care about is how straight it is. I can handle gouges. I can handle the straightness. Here's what happens with this table. Well, they are after you work on them. The problem with this table is The T tracks. And what happens with a yeah? The inside lip of these T tracks. When you tighten up that nut, a T nut in here, it pulls. And it will not surprise me at all if this thing is over ten thousandths bowed like a banana. And yeah, people think it's because it hangs off the edge. That's not true. That's right. They think because it's has such a small saddle that that's what messes them up and that didn't do it that way. It's the T-nuts, tighten them up too much and repetitively. I mean, you're going to do it a little bit every time, but... Hey, back to work, you've seen it. You've seen it? Okay. Now my gloves are dirty, I can't work. I'm getting junk everywhere. And of course, I take off the gloves to pick up the dirty rags. Makes sense. Can't take me anywhere. 